Hey guys, and welcome to the very first Minecraft Build It Better video. So this is going to be part of a lengthy series, hopefully, where, well, basically I take something in Minecraft that's simple, and I show you how to build it better. So that's where it gets its namesake from. Most of these builds are going to be something that you may stumble across in somebody else's world, and you want to make it better for them, or something that you may even construct yourself in a survival survival world. And it doesn't even have to be in survival. It can also be in creative, and it just seems bland, so you want to ramp it up and make it a little bit better. So now I'm going to show you tips and tricks that I have acquired over my Minecraft building career, and hopefully they help you make your builds or any builds that you apply these to better. So in this episode, we're going to start off with something simple, which is this basic bland cobblestone bridge. This is something that you would build in survival if you're just trying to get across a ravine or even a really low river like this one. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it, and I'm going to show you how you could build it better. Okay guys, so the first tip that we're going to go over is the changing of the blocks of the platform. This platform I have set out in cobblestone. Now the reason I have it in cobblestone is because most bridges that people do in survival, myself included, is you go ahead and you just build a straight across piece similar to this in cobblestone because that's the most readily available block because of all the mining you run into a bunch of cobblestone so uh, that's the block that you have to uh, to build with now if you have this built out of any other block like uh, dirt for instance obviously this tip works just as well the first thing you want to do is go ahead and change this platform to wood now, of course in survival this is going to be a lot harder but uh, since I have a world edit we're just going to go ahead and Set this to 5, which is the block ID for oak. And there we go. So go ahead and set it to... Alright guys, so the next tip is to add an arch here in bridge. Realistically, bridges have arches because an arch is really good for distributing weight away from the narrow part of the bridge. So the mass of that bridge leans back on the arch and puts the weight into the supports of the bridge. A good practice to do is to break your platform up in as many sections as you want, whatever you think looks the best. My bridge happens to be 27 blocks long, so I'm gonna break it up in three nines. So we're just gonna go with one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna put one there, so there's one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's actually way more than nine blocks over here. One, two, three, five, six, seven, nine, ten, actually. No big deal. We're actually gonna just gonna go ahead and put that there. So now we have a section of nine, a section of ten, then another section of nine. Put that in. Then you kind of step back. Now, I don't think the arch of this bridge is uh, serious enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to add, since there's nine here, we're actually going to leave five unbumped. Then go ahead and connect five more here. And here on this one, I'm actually going to go ahead and bump all these back up again. So again, guys, whenever you're doing something like this, just make sure you take a step back and look. And if you don't like it, then go ahead and uh, change it up to how you do like it. And we're just going to go ahead and add four more in here, and that adds or leaves five over there. Go ahead and in. Okay, guys, so now you can see, and there is a pretty decent arch up there. Uh, I like that a lot better, so we're actually going to go for that. But what we're going to do now is just go ahead and get rid of all these blocks under here. Uh, just so it makes the arch look a little bit better whenever we're going and I want to show you another trick show you another trick whenever we get here the end of these blocks so 
So now where these blocks actually connect to that block, you can actually go ahead and put a half slab in there. And just kind of, uh, connect, whoops, sort of connect like that. And then the way I have these blocks laid out right here, I'm going to have to delete these uh, to fulfill it to look uh, the way I want it to look. Alright, so the next step to make this bridge look better is to think of where the supports go. So you can use this out of stone or you can go ahead and uh, use some log supports like I'm going to. But you kind of want to think of where you would need the most support at. So what I'm thinking of here is if I would come out by two and go ahead and add it up or stack it up here. Now the reason I'm coming out by two is I think I want some stone there, but actually the way we're going to do this I'm actually just going to come right up against the bridge just like this come over to where it starts actually the block before it starts put one of those supports enough area and what you want to do is if you can put it up here Okay, so like I was saying, if you can put it where this block right here jumps up, they are a lot easier to uh, to conceal that kind of jump up because all the log kind of uh, takes the place of a decorative block jumping up next to another decorative block. The log here kind of helps uh, break that up. So what you want to do is come to each one of those sections. So we're going to go here. Put straight up here, just like that. Of course, you're going to come over here and same thing with the corner blocks. Go ahead and copy this over to the other side. Here, pop one there. Right here and pop another one right up here. And what you can also do is if this, if yours isn't as long right here, you can go ahead and drag another one down. So I actually believe I will, but I think I'm going to tear this one out. That one there. Fill that in. Actually, going to go ahead and put that in. All those, all those right there. Okay. Go ahead and put your supports. Anytime your bridge pops up like that, uh, it does help to put your the porch down. You don't always have to, but I usually do, and it does tend uh, to make the bridge look a little bit better whenever you go to detail. Okay, so another good tip that uh, you can do if your blocks allow it is you can come underneath of them here and just add some log supports. Like uh, this block right here don't actually allow it, so you can go ahead and just Brace those there so your log blocks to allow it, and then we're just going to cross right here. And all this does is, uh, just like earlier, you can go ahead and it uh, just shows that there is some support there to the bridge. So, there you can't really tell, but if you were to uh, look at it, from a bit back you can kind of see that it arches and if you raise the the pillars up there towards the middle can uh, definitely tell that, uh, that it does arch up there pop it here this side Okay, so the next piece to do after that is if you want to go ahead and grab some kind of stair block and just put them down here to ease off those uh, those jumps like from the log block to the log block but you can actually do that there as well and it does smooth that a little bit for money now the next piece that you want to do is if you want to come here on the side of all these and just cover them with stairs 
So obviously it is a little bit harder on this block so come here on the pillars and do that of course here you're going to go ahead and that just straight across just like that and then make sure you go ahead over here and put it to the other side anytime there's a full block there like that do it there and whenever you have a bottom slab do it like this now your bridge will be a little bit different than mine uh, depending on how wide the ravine is that you're building yours across but for me this works out plenty fine you guys know if your bridge is as big as mine or as tall off the body of water as mine is you may want to consider doubling up your pillars so you can just go ahead and come down here like this and double your pillars up thick all right if it's not very tall then i would advise not doing this this just makes it look like your pillars actually have some kind of meat behind them to support the weight of them. all right now another step that you can take is if you want to go back here do your first couple sections that are still on the ground and if you want to go ahead and fill them up with some cobblestone or even some stone brick underneath uh, if you have that much reason in your survival world you can just fill them up uh, with that and it does make it kind of uh, smooth in a little bit more and does make it look like there's actually something back supporting the back end of it. Then again, I'll show you over here. Just take, come one step behind those pillars and just fill it up with some cobblestone. Now, obviously, it doesn't have to be filled up inside, but if you just fill up the uh, this one here, I'm just going to go ahead and fill up this piece just like that. Can't hardly see it. But then over here, I'm going to go ahead and come up here something similar to uh, that and just make sure that looks like it is pretty meaty there to support the weight of the brick okay another good tip that you can do and this works especially well if you have supports under your bridge like I do come here to the middle and mine happens to be uneven or happens to be even so it is going to be a little bit more uh, difficult to do but if you want to go ahead whoop, Go ahead and uh, do like a diagonal pattern here underneath of your bridge. It'll make it look like you actually have supports here. Now I'm doing it out of the spruce wood, which is the same thing that I'm, or the same block that I used this piece up here for. If you wanted to, you can go ahead and make this out of the same piece that you made your deck out of. I just wanted to differentiate between the uh, two pieces of wood. You can also go ahead and uh, change this into something different as well. Now a good tip to do here is if you want to go ahead and just make one diagonal piece. Don't make a cross like that one. Just make one diagonal piece all the way down here like that. That does kind of make it look like it's putting more weight going across. You can also go ahead and do like another one coming across like that and that works good as well okay guys so another good tip you can do since it is all wood down here you can go ahead and grab some uh, cobblestone and fill around the base of the supports just like this and once you have those supports under there like that you can go ahead and put some stair blocks here just decorated around those posts and this works really well if your posts are on different height now mine's not going to be here just for uh, demonstration purposes but if your uh, your supports are on different levels like these ones are uh, than the ones in front it does make these supports look a lot better I have these ones right over here to do go ahead fly over here put that there and there this one's all the way down uh, down there like that okay so now it just looks like it's down and it actually has some support down here in the water now I still still do look rather skinny unless you look at them from that way they look pretty thick so if you wanted to go ahead and pull these up just a little bit more to uh, 
break up that and make it look like it's not as tall or not as much wood and you can go ahead and do that now demonstrate what that looks like here and you guys should be able to tell a huge difference uh, just between this one and that one over yeah so there you can see the difference in elevations and how different how better how much better it makes the bridge look over there okay so here comes the final step is decoration so now me in my texture pack or in my mod pack uh, this is actually a rustic fence but please feel free to use whatever kind of fence you guys think looks the best now this happens to be my favorite kind of fence in this texture pack so it's the fence that I'm using uh, obviously you guys can use whatever fence you would like just like I said you can just do that and it also looks kind of nice if you go ahead and put these guys here as well and, and put them on top logs like that and then if you would like uh, this is completely optional come here on these blocks and you can actually stick them out by two and uh, actually to uh, make this curve really pop out come up here and Put them out by two now you can see that it does definitely look like it lifts up a little bit there in the middle and comes back down so over here same thing on this side that out by two stick that out by two down here pop that out by two fly right over here to this one and pop that out by two now if you guys have a lot more elevation there you guys can do these every single time uh, this middle piece could actually pop up one more if you really wanted to uh, if you were using the flare blocks you could pop this up but uh, the actual arch looks good to me the bridge itself looks good to me and uh, with that being said guys that is how you make a better bridge in Minecraft you guys if you enjoyed this make sure you tell me leave a like or a comment telling me to continue with this series I have a few other builds planned and I hope you really did enjoy it uh, I want you guys to be the best builders that you possibly can be in Minecraft I know I'm not the absolute best but if my tips and tricks can help you guys out then that makes me feel better at the end of the day so anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the first ever episode of Minecraft build it better this is Primitive Panther I'll see you later and catch you Don't